What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. I'm back here with another video. And today, we're back again with some easy meal. And this is Easy Meal Till You're Dead. Basically, the music video. And it's like this, y'all. Ever since that I came back in such, it's been a long ass time since I've reacted to some Easy Meal. Because, look. One thing's first, make sure you hit the like button, You make sure you hit the subscribe button, man, because I got to say that off first, because nine times out of ten, I do be saying it for when I'm going to react to it, but I got to start saying it at the very first when I'm doing, at the start of the video. So, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, man, because it's like this, y'all help me of reaching my goal to at least 500, now let's get to 1k, man. And I know it's gonna be a long time, so 100 by 100 by day, let's keep on hitting that subscribe button and share the videos and such. But like I said, we're here with some easy meal, man. And like I said, man, it's like this. Whenever I'm reacting to an easy meal, whether it be songs from whether it be recent or years back, it just shows you that with hard work and such, keep on grinding and such trust me your name is gonna be out there whether it be and it's not this it don't even have to be music to be honest whether it be like reaction channels like mine small or large ones keep on grinding and such and hey you're gonna be on you're gonna find success cuz I mean like I said with me y'all already heard me saying this but for ones who are just subscribing or so it's like this I started this channel Technically, I started this channel back in 2015 at the start of my account and all. But I didn't start making videos until like September of 2019. So nearly a year and a half ago, I started putting on videos and such. And if you are, y'all can go look back on my channel. The very first video that I put on this channel was just to help out my church for when they was doing a red carpet of such, like a gala or such. And from that moment on to right now, no, for a little while I was doing like small react for like little small bits and such, but mostly throughout 2020 to now, I've been trying to do reaction after reaction after reaction to see what, which ones you like, no matter if it's music or it's just funny stuff. I just do what I do. If you like it, cool. If you don't, hey, I wanted to put it up. So because it suits me but either way I know y'all gonna like this so we better check this song we better check this song out make sure you like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get in the video yeah it's that time again the long awaited resurrection of Eminem's evil but godly twin and it is god damn and it's like I, first of all we just he just started off rapping and such and it's like this. Remember when I told y'all? Y'all remember when I reacted to the Slashy Show? Remember when you said? Y'all always see me always talk about him and Eminem being related. Cause let's face it, Eminem got an alter ego named Slim Shady. Easy Mill got an alter ego named Slashy. You see the Eminem resemblance, so yeah. That time again, the long awaited resurrection of Eminem's evil, but godly twin. And it is finally time for you all to see me chew and bite the trend. Cause man, maybe my life depends on this one shot. So I'm diving into the beautiful mess that these turn of events have been producing. It's time for the pens to finally be put to use again. While these mumbling retards confuse the trend. And, mm. and look, this was around 20. This was. This got released on December 3rd, 2018. Almost going into 2019. So. It's like this for for that amount of year there was a lot you can say there was a a lot of times there was some mumble rappers you can't admit but let's face it ever since Eminem dropped this kamikaze album in that year you let's face it from that year from August straight up to at least right now you have heard no mumble raps you barely hear of them and hell, even some trap rappers even got some bars in their music now. I mean, think about it. Look at 21 Savage, right? People at first was calling him a mumble rapper, right? Oh, this and that and third. 
but ever since when he but ever since December when he did his song when he had a song with J. Cole called A Lot let's face it each throughout the entire three years and such two and a half call it three years right you have not heard one bad song from him not once then focus on brainwashing you and your friends and just not even care if they lose or win Cause the careless little assholes pull you in their face with scribbles like <laughs> My mouth is full of my homies but Definite this is definitely how mumble rap is literally people with freaking tat But it's like this not a lot of rappers who got tattoos on their face and such Don't be look don't be mumbling or so Are not mumble rappers but let's face it, majority of the rappers, like mumble rappers and such, do be having tattoos on their face and do be talking about all that ish. So brainwashing you and your friends and just not even care if they lose or win. Cause the careless little assholes pull you in their face with scribbles like. <laughs> my mouth is full of my homies, but I'm good. I don't know how, but they turn in their socks. They all like they turn in their socks. Man, I could puke because of how easy it is to copy the formula. True. Let's face it. That's literally how some mumble rappers do. They be copying each other's flows sometimes. Talking about, oh, they're, it's their flow and such. Nigga, no, it's not. You copied it from somebody else, then you copied it from somebody else, then this and that and the third. That's literally how the mumble rap trend goes. Copy after copy after copy, you would think that they're a damn printer. Just copy after copy after copy after copy. Shit, you made me you made me drop my headphones because of that little rant. But it's true though. A lot of these times when rappers be rap be doing their songs, especially the mumble rapper runs. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my headphones. They always been like that, but yeah. But like I was saying, a lot of these times when the mumble rappers be doing their stuff, let's face it, you listen to one song from them, and then when you go listen to another one, they both have the same flow. Even though they're different lyrics and all, but let's face it, same flow, same cadence, everything. And same stuff they even talking about too, just in different writing. It don't be unique, it don't have no story behind it, don't even have a message behind it. Just pure. <laughs> Man, I could puke because of how easy it is to copy the formula. Damn. Maybe you're curious of what it is. Okay, I'ma be showing you. Cause with these four little steps, it's sure that you will be blowing up. But when you skyrocket to fame, man, that's when depression be showing up. True. Met, you see what I mean? This is what mumble rappers don't be having in their songs, messages, and it's like this. Sometimes. You can't say all rappers are mumble rappers, well, except for Lil Pump. We all know he's a mumble rapper, but no questions asked. But for some rappers, it's not like they don't tell a story and all. They tell what they've been through and all, but it's like this. If it's the same old stuff you keep on saying and such, and you don't show something like unique or so, at this point, it's just gonna go down from you like it ain't gonna work out and that depression part let's face it a lot of times when you start blowing up and such depression starts to go down depression starts to rise up you curious of what it is okay i'm gonna be showing you because with these four little steps it's sure that you will be blowing up but when you skyrocket to fame man that's when depression be showing up <coughs> wait where was i oh yeah teaching you little motherfuckers how to fit it with your peers wait a minute that's not it it's about the queers shedding fucking tears because of all the years they've been planning to make this game theirs but i am here mumbles beware this is the time you should trample the fear hey mumble mumbles beware and look, I'm talking, it's like this. But to be honest, it is today too. Kind of in this year too, but I'm specifically talking in 2018 era and such. I'm just putting my headset in 2018. Let's face it, 2018 before Eminem came back was filled with a lot of mumble. Just saying. 
fucking been planning to make this game theirs But I am here, mumbles beware This is the time you should trample the fear Step number one mm. is you should look like a hobo mm. and Step step number one, bitch, you should look like a hobo Bam Number two is always have a triple flow And Always have the triple flow da -da 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 -da. Look like a hobo. Mm. And step number two is always have a triple flow. Mm. And step number three is do all the drugs for the net. Then three, of course, do all the drugs on the norm. That's definitely it. The final step mm. is repeat all of that to your daddy. Hold on. So let's go over. So for all the ones who wants to be mumble rappers, let's go over the steps again. Yeah! Step number, number one. Is you should look like a hobo. Okay. And step number two is always have a triple flow. Okay. And step number three is do all the drugs for the net. And then finally, the final step is repeat all of that to your daddy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Four easy steps for you to be a mumble rapper. Be a look like a hobo. Have the triple flow. Sorry. That's basically it, but like I'm saying, and sorry for that, that was my phone. But like I said, the steps, number one, look like a hobo. Number two, have the triple flow. Number three, what was it again? I forgot. <laughs> number three, do drugs. And number four, keep on repeating it until you're dead. So, yeah. That is some of the... So... For anyone, well, uh, it's like this. I don't, I don't wish that upon, like death upon anybody. But hey, if you wanna be a mumble rapper, those are your four steps. But hey, man, it's like this. Hope y'all like this reaction, man, cause it's like this. I, I like reacting to Easy Mill, cause ever since when I reacted to the album from Screwface John, which was Village Boy and that song Wretches and Ratchet. I see that a lot of the Easy Mill fans came coming true and true and true and true. And ever since then, I started to want to react to more Easy Mill because I wanted to know why did Schoolface jump put it on Mama's album and why people love him so much. And now I can see why. Because he's like a version of Eminem, the young version of Eminem. So, because he literally even said it in the song, Eminem's twin or so like, like yeah, that in the dirt but yeah but it's like this i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one man make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button man and let me know what you think down in the comments below it's been your boy humble ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let's go